Now. Okay, as you guys are making these moves, we're gonna continue to get some more of these same reps going across. Two big things I want. Number one, we don't want you to drift, right? And the way that we create a straight up and down jump is just like we went over before. When I make my first or my last closing move, I'm opening up to where I'm trying to go on my first step. And as I wrap around on my second, I'm trying to start point my foot almost perpendicular to the net. And on that last step, I really want to end with my foot in a line directly on where I want to jump and land. It should not be pointing out towards the sideline because when I jump, I will jump in that direction. Get all the way around, right, left, right, foot pointing straight, straight across, I jump and I penetrate. The second one, blocking is all about spending time on your opponent's half of the court. This is the only time you can go across on your opponent's area without being punished. Get across the net as long as we can. So what we want is instead of doing like our normal approach of left, right, left, and a big backswing jump and attack, um, blocking, we want to use more of an elbow drive. So we don't want our hands to drop below our belly buttons. We want to use our elbows more, okay? Why do you think we want to use our elbows more? Instead of putting our hands all the way down, what does that do for us? You can press better, I wouldn't say better, but yes, last word, faster, right? Less time, less distance for my hands to travel, faster across the net. How fast can we get across? How much time can I spend across the net before I have to pull back when I land on my block? Okay, let's put those keys into effect. Coaches, let's keep an eye out for our drifters and pull them aside if they need it. Go. Bryce, get that foot around. You're drifting. Closer. 